If I hear a knock at the front door at night, it sends a shiver through me. It brings the shock of that night back to me as if it were yesterday. My Joseph was an honourable man. He served crown and country. He was the head constable of the RIC at Raffole. We had just celebrated his retirement and we were full of plans to move to Tyrone to be with our own people. Joseph had given a lifetime of service to the RIC and 20 days later his life was over. Three stranger men from across the border saw to that. Anti-treaty men they were. I learned that later at the inquest. Three men arriving into our Christian home in the night. Them with their dirty lies and their filthy trench coats. When Joseph saw them, he had a knowing, and a fear took hold of him, and he fainted. I was sent to get a drink to revive him, and it was then that I heard the shots ring out, echo through our house, shatter the peace of our home. Two shots that left me a widow. I hear them still. I learned later that there was a local element to the whole thing. A local publican's wife had instigated the whole affair. And I'm sure it was done out of some petty personal gripe and not from some highbrow political stance, if it's who I think it was. Justice was never served. Indeed, it wasn't talked about much after the inquest. And soon there wasn't even the mention of his name. But I won't forget what was done to him. I will remember my beloved husband, Joseph Valentine.